You guys didn't really think Kane was dead, did ya? Disquieting stillness lay where my heart had been, the heart that had belonged to Yanis Audrin all along. How was it possible that I still lived? You are still very full, Vampire. I will go first. This realm will render you hideous. You will go mad. You are not knowing. What is this place? Do you not think of this place every day, vampire? Or are we truly forgotten and forgotten? This is the exile into which we were driven. But soon now, soon we will be free. We will be free! Bunch of demons. So are the demons actually the Hilden? And do they serve the Elder God or not? I'm not certain on that last thing I said since according to the murals the war was started because these creatures were undying and did not rejoin the Wheel of Fate, so I doubt they actually served, or even or serve now, the Elder Gods. The vampires did. Oh, it's a big one, damn it. And I still haven't cleared the smaller ones. At least I prefer Kane's dodge. That one is dead. They don't have blood, apparently. So I'll have to rely on other means of regaining my health against these guys. Will you die already? Finally. Now what? A portal? Into where? I felt strongly drawn, compelled even, not to linger here, but to go to the Vampire Citadel at once. Okay, Kane, and we will. Any hidden items for Kane, though? Uh, how many talismans are we missing? We're missing two telekinetic runes and one health talisman. Let's see if they're actually in here. So how do we still live? 
Was it perhaps Mortanius that saved us? Since he apparently created Cain. Mortanius, are you here? No, but there is. The last health piece. Nice. And we have max health. With Kane, not with Raziel. I've missed some telekinetic runes though. What's over here? Apparently nothing. I take it we'll have to fight more demons to leave this place. Called it. At least it appears to be only this one. guys really not have blood? I actually haven't tried it. I'll test it on the next one. I hate that that it can one attack and I'm knocked down. That's come on. That's not fair. No, no blood. No blood. No souls. Which is weird because I clearly see some blood on the ground. Unless it's my blood. I dodge, but they still hit me anyways. Back to the cathedral. Okay, these guys have bloods. Definitely. Oh! What's time's power? Oh, it just slows my enemies? That's nice. Here comes some more. With the dimension one. I like the teleport thing. That's nice.
Anything over here that I need? Nope. Kane never really does acknowledge the um, the wraith blade doors, does he? Hmm. I actually go upstairs. Should I? Let's see if we can find our final upgrades. Really? I couldn't grab onto that sledge? Ah, there we go. Nah, no upgrades. Okay, let's get out of here. I knew what ominous hour this was in Nosgoth's history, for here was the event that had shaped my entire existence. I had cast my fate, refusing the sacrifice, damning the pillars, and founding my doomed empire upon their ruins. I would raise the Salafan priests to be my closest lieutenants, and would one day cast the strongest of them, my servant Raziel, into the abyss, dealing one last hand to play against fate. But in the end, had it made any difference? Had I misread the signs, as Mobius told me, in my arrogance, had I missed my cast at destiny? Well, we shall see. Let's go into the chamber below. Kane never seems to know how to um, go downstairs, does he? He always does this weird jumping thing. No enemies? I guess not. Oh, I hear battle music. Wait, wasn't this flooded? I thought I, I, I was about to die because of the water, but... Apparently there's no water anymore. Nice. One more of these. Guess the only thing I missed were the last two runes. I think there's two. There's enough space for two. Yeah, but that's really not um, too big of a deal. The Hilden are merely an inconvenient consequence. They will be dealt with in time. It is a small price to pay for Cain's death. You're a bit premature. Cain! Is there a crack in your omniscience after all, Mobius? First, your omniscience, and now your powers. You're slipping badly. This is not possible. 
The part of me that staff affected is no longer in its place. But you already knew that, didn't you? I always was considered heartless. And now, Mobius, it is time to kill me? Again? Your only solution for every problem? Kill! This is not a debate. You see, this time, you have nothing that I want. Oh, you think this will matter? I serve one who has power over life and death. Then go to him. I am his obedient, his devoted servant. Soon, all pain will fade, and my master will bring me life once more. Master, my apologies. A momentary oversight. Somehow Cain still lives and has unexpectedly dispatched me. Make use of your good servant and... <coughs> Go to your master then. I release you to the wheel. Oh, God! Do you see it now? The monster that you served. Is this what you imagined when you worshipped it? And in that knowledge, go and feed it. I release you. <sighs> Your petty actions are irrelevant, Raziel. Mobius was a good servant, but he was of no further use. His long life had run its course. You see? Even when you rebel, you are doing my will. Perhaps. But something has changed, hasn't it? You didn't foresee Cain's return. You have both traced your paths along the wheel. This is where the journey ends. You haven't the means to kill either one of us. Ah, but you can be stopped. And you will come to understand how oblivion can be a mercy. You and Cain spend eternity buried here together, praying for the merciful release of a death that will never come. But I was armed with newfound knowledge, and it burned within me. Redeemer and destroyer. Mobius had never seen his master until the Soul Reaver purified his sight. Even the ancient vampire had no idea what it was they so righteously worshipped. You must unite what is been set asunder. All the conflict and strife throughout history, all the fear and hatred, serve but one purpose, to keep my master's wheel turning. All souls were prisoners, trapped in the pointless round of existence, leading distracted, blunted lives until death returned them always in ignorance, to the wheel. The coin is still turning. But what hope had there been? One cannot fight the unseen. Only then will the sign of balance be armed for his true endeavor. Despair, Raziel. There is no escape. It was then I knew what I had to do. I alone could end this. We now have a means to return to the material realm. Do you so enjoy death? Yes. Raziel. No! Yes. This is how... No! Raziel! The Soul Reaver. Pure of all corruption. This is what it is for. This 
is what I am for. The two become one. Both soul reavers together. And the sign of balance is healed. And I am not your enemy, not your destroyer. I am, as before, your right hand, your sword. No, Razia, this can't be the way. And now you will see the true enemy. Raziel. And it was then I saw. So, I am revealed to you at last. What in hell? I am the origin of life, the devourer of death. I am the hub of the wheel, the purifying cycle to which all souls must be drawn. Had I condemned Raziel to this nightmare when I cast him into the abyss? You may ponder the futility of your ambitions as you spend a deathless eternity beneath a mountain of rubble. You and your soul reaver will go equally mad as the eons pass. The Citadel of the Apostates will become your living tomb. Your words are heartening. <laughs> For you would not fear us unless we could truly do you harm. No! You are nothing! False God! <laughs> this is the end. The final turn of your wheel. Okay, final boss. The Elder Gods. Okay, this tentacle seems to... ...have a certain pattern here. Okay, so Raziel is our sword now. I like that the the skull the skull in the sword has uh, glowing eyes like Raziel. That's pretty cool. Not sure if he's really dead or if he just lives in the sword now. Unfortunately, that question will never be answered because there is no other game after this. I think I need to strike the eye, but it is shielded. Damn it. Almost. I took a very large chunk of your health. Oh, and by the way, Mobius' staff did not work, so does that mean the only vampire part that we had was Janos' heart? And also, was this 
the actual time where we were supposed to kill Mobius in the timeline. I think I, I think I got the hang of this. Or was it an unforeseen death? Here we go. Oh, these are different. Some different projectiles here. I don't really have a way- oh, two tentacles now. I don't really have a way to heal though. That's kind of annoying. I don't think I can do this in the first try. Okay, the eye is vulnerable. Still need to dodge the projectiles a little bit better. Ow. I think I'm dead though. Yeah. Okay, but I, th I think I got the hang of it now, except... Oh, three tentacles. Okay, this will be interesting. Alright. Wow, didn't even give me time to dodge that. Here it comes again. Okay, now... We strike at the eye. Not like this. Poor dodge, come on. Okay, the homing part of that is really annoying. Quite a big chunk of health from him this time. Nice. Okay, I think I've got the tentacles on lock. The projectiles are worse. The blue ones are homing, the green ones I can't dodge them very well by jumping. A bit annoying though. Tentacles and projectiles. 
did not expect that. Three tentacles. Damn it, I didn't hit that. Again? Come on. It's this one. This is It'll be close. <laughs> Can we do it this time? One more. The strings of the puppets had become visible, and the hands of the Prime Mover exposed. Most ironic of all was the last gift that Raziel had given me. More powerful than the sword that now held his soul, more acute even than the vision his sacrifice had accorded me. The first bitter taste of that terrible illusion. Alright, and that does it for Defiance. Now, Mobius mentioned that the Hilden were an unintended consequence. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, only an in unintended consequence for Mobius or for the Elder God as well. So I'm, I'm assuming the Elder God did not work with the Hilden for reasons that I've mentioned already. Anyways, this is the last game of the um, Legacy of Cain series. Uh, we're still going to play two more, Blood Omen and Blood Omen 2, but chronologically this is the last one. A new one has not been made, there was a... Was it an MMO or something that uh, came Nosgoth, but it wasn't an actual sequel? So I'm still waiting on that. Although I wouldn't be opposed to um, a series reboot or some game or some remakes since there were some there are some of these games that have not aged that well. Yeah, so I'll keep waiting until they make a new one. I mean, what about the Hilden? What about Janos Audrun's body that's now possessed? What about Kane? What is he going to do? What about the pillars? Can they be restored? A lot of questions and unfortunately no answers. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed Legacy of Kane Defiance and I will see you all next time.